equities, enticing but with a fair bit of risk. At times, the returns you get might not be what you expect. Not intended to be a compliment. But what if, in a market full of uncertainties, there is a debt strategy that can help you optimize returns and minimize risk? Before that, what are debt funds? These are funds that invest in instruments like bonds, treasury bills, certificates of deposit, commercial papers to generate a stable income. Because you get periodic interest at a pre-decided rate. And also the principal when the instrument matures. Which is great until the interest rate risk tends to kick in. Let's understand with an example. Say you buy a bond with a 5-year maturity and 7% interest rate. But two years on, say interest rates rise and now freshly issued bonds with higher interest rate means not only are you earning lesser but might have difficulty finding buyers for your bonds. Also, if you'd bought a two-year bond, you could have picked up a fresh bond with a higher interest rate right after the first one's maturity, ensuring a better cumulative yield. Of course, the interest rates might go the other way but there's never a guarantee for this. In such a dilemma, there is one way that comes close to offering steady and relatively high return rates. The roll-down strategy. There are two key ideas underlying this strategy. Buy and hold debt instruments until maturity and purchase new debt instruments over time in a manner that the effective maturity period of the portfolio overall remains roughly constant. With a roll-down strategy, you can not only avoid your FOMO of investing in debt instruments in case of rising interest rates, but also gauge the market to make informed purchases. Let's take a look at a debt fund cycle. Here, an investor entering the fund in July 2020 could have expected an effective annual return rate of 9.0% if invested until March 2021. However, the same investor entering in January 2021 would have got a lower return than the investor from July 2020. Now, here's the clincher. When the interest rates rose in July 20, the price of bonds would have gone down, meaning the existing assets of the fund would fall, which would of course be an unrealized loss. And for the same investor buying in Jan 21, he would have got a lesser interest rate but bought at a lower price as well. This counterbalancing at both ends ensures the investor ends up making a steady annual return of 9%. Now, if the interest rates had fallen during the period, a similar counterbalancing in the opposite direction would have worked to produce a roughly steady rate of return for the investor. To sum up, roll-down funds offer relatively predictable returns, making them less risky than most equity-based funds. Additionally, roll-down funds with relatively short maturity periods experience less choppiness due to fluctuating interest rates, making them steadier than other short-term debt funds. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.